So VP and general manager of Google, Bill Harrison, has claimed that he doesn't believe data caps are going to bring a major challenge to Stadia, their upcoming streaming service. His primary premise and underlying basis for his argument is that ISPs are typically raise their data caps based on popularity of, tip, of typical services such as video streaming or music streaming. While that do, did seem to be the case, the popularity of Stadia I don't believe is going to be high enough in order to raise their specific data caps. For example, one of the biggest things that I personally found a little troubling when I was researching this story was that there is a startling number of ISPs that have data caps less than 500 gigabytes. There's a few on here. Big River Telephone, fixed wireless serving 42,000 people, has a data cap of 20 to 50 gigabytes. Now granted, that's probably just your uh, mobile phones, but still, that isn't really very much. Uh, there's another one on here, Boycom. Services 16,000 people for a data cap of 250 gigabytes. But like I said, there's quite an astonishing number of ISPs that have data caps less than 500 gigabytes. And let's assume for a second that you're burning through it at a rate of 10 megabits a second for your standard 1080p connection. So 500 gigabytes divided by 10 megabits a second is going to give you 50,000 sec 50, seconds. And if there are 3,600 seconds in an hour, that'll give you roughly 15 yeah, 15 hours or so of playtime. It, it's probably closer to 16, but that is 16 hours of game time at 10 megabits a second. And let's say, for instance, that uh, you you try that your your connection is stepped up a little bit, and you're able to do maybe 2K resolution, 2160 by 1920, what, what, whatever the resolution is there. I, I don't know videos. But anyway, you're able to do 2K and it's running at about 20 megabits a second. That gives you eight hours of game time in a single month. Now, I don't know about you, but even I, with as little time as I have to play games, am going to play more than eight hours in a single month. So to think that ISPs are going to think that you're not going to blow through your data cap is ridiculous. The other primary part of that argument that we do have to break down is that they react to demand in order to fulfill the needs of their customers. One of the things that we've seen over the last few weeks since the debut of Stadia was a quite a bit of negative press and that is likely going to lead to a low adoption rate of the service. That being said, their low popularity may not be quite enough in order to spur ISPs to raise their data caps. One of the other things that he mentions in, in this interview and argument is the evolution of 5G or fixed wireless. While the sorry, while the connection speeds capable of running 5G are going to be substantially higher than what you could see from a standard Wi-Fi or 4G LTE connection, or you're still going to be seeing standard degradation of the line due to the amount of information 
as in the form of electrical current running along that running along that wire. I don't have time to go into all of the, the physical characteristics of a physical signal running through a a connection in order to broadcast in order to broadcast that signal, but just trust me when I say that there will be degradation of the line over time. And ISPs are very well aware of that, so they are likely going to be showing data caps on 5G as well. Although they are likely to be substantially higher than the, let's see, what, what's the max on here if I can find? Uh, two terabytes, two terabytes, five terabytes, nice. Go you, Central Scott Telephone Company. Let's see, three, one, two, one, one, two, six. Mediacom cable has a data cap of six terabytes. Uh, let's see. Uh, five, two. The service electric cable vision also has one for six terabytes. One, two, one, three, two, three. So yeah, there, there's two ISPs on here that have a data cap up to six terabytes. That being said, that is going to be quite a bit of space and time in order for you to be able to blow through all of your data over the course of a month. Chances are I only go through like one terabyte a month and that's even with all of the uploads and stuff and even game downloads but still I'm, I'm getting off topic what matters here is that data caps are going to be a problem in in the foreseeable future until the connection can be stable enough in order to push past that boundary data caps are in fact going to be a problem for the Google Stadia although Phil, Phil Harrison would like to would like us not to believe that to be the case if you liked it let me know if you hated it let me know and as always don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible human being for giving you all this news ta-ta for now